take number... Oh, I've lost track. And I'm still wearing my comfy Christmas sweater because it is cold and this is comfy. So... Hi guys, welcome to the video. I'm not going to stay up here very long because we're going to switch to something completely different. Um, this was kind of brought to, kind of brought to you by Caitlin Ash only because she mentioned a thing where there's stuff in my books that would make great tattoos. So I'm like, yeah, well, singular. And I'm like, yeah, they actually, technically the tattoos that, that the characters have in my books are also something I wanted to work on and I kept trying to work on and kept failing. And when Caitlin's comment showed up on, on the beta documents, I'm like, you know what? I'm bored and I have nothing better to do with my time. I'm going to try again. And then I noticed that there was a replay time-lapse button. So I exported it. And now we're here. It's technically writing related because it's about Project Incarnate, but it's also art related. Something I don't actually do on my channel, like, ever, because I'm a bad artist. <laughs> At least I think so. I'm I'm a learning artist. I, I am still working on my skills in digital drawing, and also actual drawing. But, um, enough of this. Let's get started with this. <sighs> Welcome to the Symbols of Project Incarnate. I don't really know what to call this, to be perfectly honest. We, we're starting off with the fact that I cannot draw a star to save my life. So I just grabbed a clip art and started tracing. And then I realized, oh crap, it's on the same layer. So I chased it again. And then I started adding all the colors and the shadings because each uh, piece of this five-pointed star is supposed to look like stained glass set into skin. Each color representing the god that it is based off of. Uh, if you haven't seen my video for that, uh, I'm going to link it here, which is the mood boards for the gods of Project Incarnate, where we have uh, Varric, Etris, Lugar, Tresic, and Natori, the five gods of my universe, combined all together to create one giant weapon. First things first, uh, we're starting off strong with the blood god himself. This was supposed to look a little bit more intimidating than I intended to, and I suck at drawing crowns, but this is Varric, the Laughing Mad God. Or the Laughing God, the Mad God, the Blood God. He goes by a lot of names. He is the god that the pretty much the big awful bad guy worships, but he's also part of the Pantheon, so he gets to join the other gods in the Five-Pointed Star. Originally, I wanted to put all of the icons in the star, which is what it looks like in the book is if you stare at the completed star, you can see the god's icon shifting just underneath the skin. It is super creepy. Uh, next one we have is Etris, which is the pearl in the moon basket because she is the seer. And this is going way too fast. Next we have Lugar, the wolf, the forest spirit, the creator of all werewolf kind. He is the best boy. <laughs> there's so much more information that is actually on the uh mood board video so i'm gate i'm gonna glaze past so much of this now um the next one the snake tresic this one was probably the hardest one to draw obviously by the fact that i keep restarting over and over trying different shapes different styles different reference photos that i couldn't quite understand where the lines went um, until I drew the eye. The second I drew the eye, everything kind of started to kind of bleed in together. And I still can't get the... I still was together to save my life. But I was talking to uh, my artist friend and she was starting to help me with kind of what the perfect way to style the body was. And with her help, I was able to get at least that far... Which, you know, it started off looking like a cloud with a snake head, but I really... It happened. It looks a little bit more gentle now, but like the clan, it's based off of... Tresic can be very 
Uh, appearances can be deceiving when it comes to this snake. Now, originally it was supposed to be like a purple worm, but then I changed the color. And then I changed it back because I like the idea of purple and gold together. Um, I, I, I just really like that co color palette. So in the world, her scales shift to uh, like in the light and they turn purple, even though she's a base gold snake. So I actually made my own snake brush for this project. I had no idea how to make Procreate brushes beforehand. So learning how to do that was a feat onto itself. And it was super fun and it looks a hell of a lot better than if I were to try to draw the individual scales themselves. Um, quick note, up at the top corner is uh, the way the, the icon is supposed to look when it's shattered. So when there's no power into it, when there's no blessing... And then the final icon, stop. The final icon is Notori's wings, which is supposed to be a unfurled dragon wing that represents the goddess. Now, all of those separate icons you would see on the vampires themselves that are part of those clans. It's the clan brand, the clan symbol that I just got way too detailed of. And if you've heard anything about my story... Um, I overshoot the detail in some places and underwrite in others, so pretty much that's on brand. But that's pretty much it. Um, except for what you're looking at right now is the finished version of the art. Because I wanted to add a little bit more to Lugar because he's not just a green puppy. He's actually a white and green, where he's a white and green wolf, about the size of a school bus. And he is covered in these long curling vines of leaves and thorns like nature just grew out of his fur and yeah those are my i guess rough draft of the project incarnate icons both the god's mark which is the five pointed star on the skin of the one that has all five blessings the unpowered the unpowered shattered version as well as the five deity markings. Hope you like this video. I have no idea what it is, to be perfectly honest. I just kind of thought it was cool that I could do a time-lapse replay and hashtag everything as content. So, uh, yeah. I'm learning. And this is all I've learned for the day. We'll see you in the next video, whatever it is. And until then, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Bye, guys!